ऑल राइट वेलकम ऑल राइट वेलकम टू द वीडियो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल प्लेसेज इन इंडिया दैट यू कैन गो टू स्पेशली इन द इवनिंग ऑब्वियसली इट हैज़ अूज ह्यूज रिलीजियस सिग्निफिकेंस ऑल्सो जस्ट रिमेंबर डू नॉट गो देयर इन समर और मे बी आई मीन इफ यू आर वेरी डिवोटेड देन ऑब्वियसली द सीजन वुड नॉट मैटर बट इफ इट्स जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ कन्वीनियंस एंड इनकनवीनियंस आई वुड से दैट नो गो इन विंटर्स और एंड ऑफ विंटर्स और स्टार्ट ऑफ समर avoid the peak summer i would say so one of the most beautiful places in amritsar one of the most most beautiful places uh, first of all when you're going you would have your car or whatever try and park it a little far because it's completely jam packed uh, you hardly find parking at least we did not find good parking spot near the temple so we had to park far far away and then we took a local rickshaw and we went there and the people are very very friendly you don't even need to worry about it very very smooth they'll drop you and the temple is slightly far so they drop you where you have to walk through shops on either side and it's just beautiful very very colorful there is a very beautiful building uh, on the left hand side when you walk the architecture is so amazing it's it's very simple but it's beautifully done and when you are walking on uh, you know on on that promenade or uh, on that path you would actually find a lot of shops which are selling some sort of a scarf or something that you have to tie on your head so that's i think the tradition when you enter uh, golden temple obviously i am not 100% sure but everybody is doing it so you have to tie some sort of a handkerchief or a scarf on your head and then go in to pay your respects so that's one and obviously you can buy a lot of uh, you know a uh, lot of bracelets different kinds of bracelets uh, obviously the metal the metal ones which are very very famous for punjabis so you can buy those they actually look good they they looked really really good on me and i have uh, i did buy a few and i would recommend that if you really like bracelets that's the place to be and they are very very cheap 20 30 rupees not much 40 50 rupees not not a lot expensive and i mean obviously since you're walking through the market you see a lot of commotion hustle bustle and right there is golden temple and that's the most beautiful thing so you are walking you know by the promenade and you hear a lot of noises and then when you enter golden temple it's silent and even though it's extremely hot there is a breeze that is going through i don't know uh, what it is about temples and breeze but but breeze is always there i don't know why but it's just very calming very soothing so you uh, deposit your shoes and you start and this is one of the unique things that i saw so every time when you are trying to you know so the first time that you try to get into the temple obviously you have to take you have to i think climb four or five stairs but before that there is this small patch of water so you have to walk through that so automatically your feet get rinsed and cleaned so it's it's beautiful i haven't seen it anywhere so you have the temple and you have that that staircase and just below the staircase before you get on the staircase you have that beautiful patch of water small patch of water and everybody is going through it and for some reason it's clean pristine white and uh, very very clean and uh, then you get into the temple and it's a small very small uh, you know door and then you look and golden temple is just spread across you look and like left hand side there is so there are so many things in the front is obviously the golden temple and then on the right hand side there are so many things it is very very beautiful so you get in there and then you know you obviously take a minute to soak in the environment it's amazing so peaceful there are literally thousands of people i mean obviously i think thousands of people and it still feels so quiet and one of the most beautiful things for me is obviously a water body so golden temple is little of a little far before that you have that huge water body in which you know people take a dip to pay respects etc so we went in you know amazing put our feet in uh 
paid our respects obviously uh, bowed down uh, i asked uh, the i asked god to make me a star obviously uh, no no I, i didn't i didn't i was actually very very humble um, it was i was going to a temple after a long long time long long time i mean i haven't been to a temple i, I don't know in how many years uh, but really it was such a pleasant no, pleasant is a very kind word it's such an awesome experience so i went in there i mean we took we didn't dip in the water but uh, there were a lot of people who were taking dips but we we just played around in the water a little we clicked a lot of photos i took some awesome awesome photos uh, then we took some more photos the sun was shining so brightly uh it was uncomfortable and i had chosen to wear something very heavy that day so i was slightly uncomfortable but still i would say you know that it was manageable and then we looked at golden temple so that was there right in front then on the right hand side you have we had lot of stories and uh, some some sort of a dance celebration that was going on and then there were staircase staircases to go up each of those buildings and amazing and then there was a section i thought that uh, you know it was it it was a place where they had kept their holy book and uh, w- one of the guys was there who who actually told me that it was that place where you know they had kept the book but then i met so th- this was the strangest story so you you get into that chamber you are in a line and you see a book is kept there so my assumption was that probably they had kept some sort of a holy book there and you are just going there to pay your respects and that's what i was in the line for and there a lot of people you know who were lying down and putting their head on the floor and paying respects so i was looking intently and then uh, some i think there was a family sick family they they asked me do you know what that is so i was like i don't know it's some sort of a holy book so they said that this is i think a granth holy guru granth sahib book uh, i think that was what that was and i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong so th- they said that that was the book and they had kept it there and that's it so i was so amazed and i you know i got excited i started sharing with everybody around me that you know th- that's the real book that's the real book and i was doing all that so then when we exited and uh, w- once you exit that chamber you have to go straight to take the prasad and beautiful no very very tasty halwa very very tasty halwa it was not very sweet but there was some it, it, a lot of ghee um a lot of ghee very very tasty so i mean i took it and i ate it immediately obviously didn't wait at all and then the strange thing happened i was waiting for my friends to come out and then um, a sick guy came up to me and said uh, I heard you talking inside with the other person uh, who was telling you that this chamber is used to keep the actual copy of the book and I was like yeah 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 he told me that and he said no that's wrong the actual book is kept in the in the golden temple and in this chamber uh one of the gurus uh, used to sit and listen to prayers and songs etc and complaints etc I think that was what he told me and uh, then he showed me two flag poles and he said that if you notice one flag pole is taller than the other and he asked me do you know what it is so he told me i think some punjabi terms for that but for for those two flag poles uh, but i don't remember now but one of them signified warrior that was the shorter one and then the other one signified spiritual or spirituality and that was the taller one and they said that obviously as a warrior you are great but once you become spiritual you transcend that strength or power it was an amazing amazing story and even i mean an incredible thing that that guy did like he didn't have to you know come up to me talk to me complete stranger correct the story that i had that i was hearing inside because he was i think two or three uh, ropes behind me and he told me that he was actually listening to the guy giving me the explanation and when he heard it he thought that it was wrong and somebody had to correct it and he spent like 10 good 10 minutes explaining me the whole thing so i amazed totally amazed so then we went on looked at the other uh, other pillars and it's so beautifully crafted so beautifully crafted so we walked through the halls and then obviously we went to the langar side uh 
commotion we we thought that probably it would be a huge commotion so they gave us the plate uh, one spoon one bowl and then they put a motichur laddu in that and so tasty it was here i just ate it immediately i didn't even wait and then we we stood in the line then when our turn came we there was a lot of commotion a lot of people were you know fighting to get inside and some people were saying no your turn will come to get inside we get the food why are you why are you rushing why are you rushing but obviously all of us were in rush uh, in rush and so was i until i heard uh, someone say that and then i was like no 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 i have to be calm and quiet so then we got inside sat on the floor and then they started serving rice some some chapati uh, they served rajma and all of them were good and then they served black dal if you go to golden temple and if you go to langar you have to try the black dal the tastiest thing that i have ever had it was very very simple there was i, I mean it it was so simple but it was so tasty that black dal was so tasty i must have taken it three times and people were looking at me staring at me and you know i didn't even i just took some some small portion of rajma and that's it i i was just drinking that dal it so so tasty so tasty so then we got out and obviously you know our our group of friends got separated from one another then we had to call there was some bad network so all of that was happening just just amazing experience and then we got out we started walking in the sun uh you know when you get inside the temple outside there is a huge commotion and lot of people and even inside the temple also there are so many people right but when you are inside the temple i don't know what it is it feels so calm so serene uh, very soothing very very soothing because i remember we took our shoes uh, you know footwear we we wore them and then we walked out and then we would have shopped for like 5 minutes 10 minutes and then we were walking in the sun and we got very irritated and we just sat on a rickshaw that's it it was so the sun was so harsh but inside the temple it felt very mild very comfortable so i would say don't go in summer uh, it would not be a very pleasant experience but the temple itself is amazing and when you look at that visual uh, that there is a huge water body in front where people are taking dips and like you know the end of the water body is that beautiful golden temple that whole view that you get from the gate that you enter there is a small gate you enter and you look up and you see that beautiful water body and then you look at that temple one of the best sights best best sights just just the most beautiful thing you will see uh i really hope that you go there uh, amritsar obviously has a lot of things but do visit the golden temple and definitely try the dal makhani you have to try dal makhani from at least 3 4 places the tastiest thing ever but yeah if you have visited golden temple and if you have a prior experience let me know but uh, i had a great great time i'll definitely go back again and if any of you are planning to go there let me know uh we can exchange notes and we can make some ideas for next time all right thank you take care bye bye